Good evening, one and all. Myself, Dr. Rupa Sri, uh, Obstetrics and Gynecology Consultant at Hyderabad. To let us discuss some of the questions from the fetal physiology. Okay. Okay. The embryonic period is from. Is it from first two weeks of ovulation or from third week to eighth week of gestational age or it is from eighth week to delivery? See the image here. It is the germinal period or the ovular period. Zero to two weeks means it is the ovular or the germinal period or germinal. Embryonic period is from three to eight weeks and the fetal period is from nine weeks to birth. Okay, the embryonic period is from third week to eighth week of gestational age. That is the option. And next is the at term. The average fetal weight in our country varies from. I am specifically asking in our country. Okay, means there will be particular range. Okay, it is about 2.5 to 3.5 kg. Actually, when the fetal weight is greater than 4.5 kg, it is known as fetal macrosomia. Okay, it is seen in gestational diabetes mellitus. The only one condition which will result in fetal macrosomia is gestational diabetes mellitus. And for this 4.5 kg, ACOG recommends, preferably recommends cesarean section. Okay, so average weight is from 2.5 to 3.5 kg. Next, maternal immunoglobulin crosses the placenta from. See, in maternal immunoglobulins, I am asking the key word is IgG. There are IgG, IgM and IgA. IgG passes from 12 weeks, crosses the placenta from 12 weeks to produce the passive immunity. Okay, to produce the passive immunity. In case of IgM, okay, it is of fetal origin and it indicates presence of IgM indicate intrauterine infections or fetal infections, okay. It indicates the presence of infections and IgA is completely after birth. the birth of the baby. Okay, see, I have asked only one, that is IgG, but there are three main other, other conditions which are present. See, IgG, 12 weeks, it is produced passive immunity. Okay, the option is D. IgA is seen only after the birth of the baby and presence of IgM indicates some of the infections of the fetus. Next, lifespan of fetal RBC is, see, adult RBC is 120 days and fetal RBC is two third of adult RBC. Okay, so adult RBC is of 120 days. It indicates that fetal RBC is 80 days. Okay, the option is B. Surfactant is produced by surfactant. It is produced from the lungs. The name itself indicates surfactant means it is a substance. That decreases the surface tension. So that it helps in opening up the alveoli. helps in opening up of the alveoli after the birth of the baby for easy respiration. Okay, surfactant. It is a substance that decreases the surface tension which helps in opening the alveoli for easy respiration after the birth of the baby. It is produced by type 2 alveolar cells. Next, fetal pancreas secrete insulin as early as. See, I have asked as early as. In case of pituitary hormones, 
pituitary hormones by fetus. Anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary. Mostly these are produced as early as 10 to 12 weeks. Okay. The fetal insulin, anterior pituitary hormones, posterior pituitary hormones are produced as early as 12 weeks. Okay. Best option is 12 weeks. Deoxygenated blood from the pulmonary trunk. To the descending iota passes through. See, in the fetal life, there is full of resistance of fetal life. Full resistance of pulmonary arteries. Therefore, blood passes to descending iota through ductus arterioses. Okay, I will show the image also. This is the pulmonary trunk. From the right atrium, right ventricle, it passes to pulmonary trunk. But the resistance is very much high in case of pulmonary trunk. So what happens? The blood passes through the ductus arteriosus from there to the completely through the descending iota. Okay. If you remember this, see ductus arteriosus, it passes through descending iota and then to the umbilical arteries. Okay. The fate of the umbilical vein develops into here. This is the umbilical vein. This blue color one. This is the umbilical vein. Later, what it changes is? It changes to ligamentum teres. Okay? It changes. Umbilical vein changes to ligamentum teres. Let's see the other options. Superior vesicle artery is the proximal part of umbilical artery. And lateral umbilical ligament are Distal part of umbilical artery. As I said, there are two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein. Okay. The proximal part of the umbilical artery develops into superior vesicle artery. And distal part develops into lateral umbilical ligament. And the umbilical vein, vein develops into ligamentum teres. Remember as VT. Vein develops into ligamentum teres. Vein develops into there is. Okay. Next. At term, urine production by the fetus is by 12 weeks nephrons are active. By 12 weeks, nephrons are active. By term, by term, asking your term, it produces about 650 ml per day. Okay. Fetus produces 650 ml per day. Almost less than 4.400 ml per day oliguria means oligohydramnias means renal, renal condition is not proper. Okay, so minimum amount should be almost 650 ml per day. The skin covered with lanigo hair and vernix cageosa started from see this is the whitish material. See this is all the sebaceous gland secretions which is seen at the time of birth. Okay, lanigo hair, vernix cageosa. It starts formation from almost 20 weeks. Okay. From 20 weeks only we can observe this whitish material around the fetus. Okay. Lanigo means small small hair particles which are present below the vernix caseosa. It is seen almost from 20 weeks onwards. Okay. Okay. I think these MCQs will be helpful to you all. And uh, thank you. Let's meet with uh, next other topics. Thank you.